All right, we're going to start off with a very simple example. And this example is going to be kind of a rev the review of references here, because we're going to be using a reference later on. But it's going to be a really simple example, and I'm going to make it more complicated as we move on so we can uh, figure this class stuff out. So, starting off here, I made a new class, and I called it Character. Okay, so let's just look at it here. Oh yeah, and the other thing is, I decided to make, in this particular example, I decided to make all our variables public, so we can access any of these variables whenever we want. Okay, so there's no private variables, but, but they'll be coming back, so. Alright, so first I have an HP, which stands for hit points, and I have another one that uh, stands for attack. Make this 200 here, so we can maybe we can see a little bit better. I also gave it a function. It's just called attack, and uh, we'll we'll go we'll see what the code does later. Then next, I have character, and uh, that's just my constructor. Remember the constructor is it just sets the default value. So every time I declare a character. This function is automatically called when I declare it. This is a function that's just called when it's declared. All right, let's move on. So what I want to do? Start using these things. I want to make two characters. I want to make one called Smart, and I'm gonna make the other one called Dumb. So I just declared two different characters. Now what I want to do? I want to output both of their hit points to the screen. So let's just say smart, smart HP, better capitalize it, okay, HP capitals, end line, dumb, HP, In line here. Okay. Let's see if it works. And let's see what we get. And I always forget this thing. I didn't forget it this time. Okay. So we should see 5 and 5. Smart HP has 5. Dumb HP has 5. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, say we use these functions here. So let's say dumb decides to attack. Now look here. Look at this function here. It takes in the type character. So we see this void here. Just looking at the parameters here, it doesn't take an int type. It doesn't take a double type. It doesn't take a char type. It takes in a class type called character. Okay, so we're going to call it. He's going to attack the character smart. And smart does not exist, but this one exists. Okay, so dumb attacks smart. So let's look at this code here. Smart is going to be in passed into the character enemy. So let's say this we're looking at from the dumb's perspective. Smart is going to be as classified as enemy, so the enemy HP is going to be minus equal the attack. The attack is this attack here. This is a different HP. This is the enemy's dot HP, so we're accessing the enemy's HP here. So does everybody see that? Look carefully at this. This is this is brand new here. We've never called a class as a parameter before. We used int, double, char, every all the other. Uh, keyword type uh, classes, but our own custom class is the first time we've called one in. So looking at this code, it's a void, it doesn't return anything. It's just going to reduce the character by his attack. In this case, the attack happens to be 1. Okay? So let's see what happens when I recopy and paste this. What, what do you think is going to happen? Don't forget the rules of scope. 
they will both be 5 still. Why is that? Why are they both 5 still? See, after the attack, after we call the attack here, um, uh, it still says his HP is 5. Well, let's go back to the rules of scope. So this is a scope review again. When we pass in this value here, the smart type, it is a copy. Enemy is just a copy of smart. The enemy is its own own piece. So remember how we can uh, change the value by passing it through a function? We can use a pointer or we can use a reference here. So let's try this again. Let's use a reference. Now this is the memory address of this. This is the actual enemy. Now this will be the same exact memory. This is just the reference here. Look at the reference video if you've forgotten what they do. The references are not going to go away. And it's going to keep things very simple. If we don't want to pass, if we want to actually pass in the actual variable, we have to pass in the character itself. Okay? So we're actually, this is going to work. You just put an ampersand in front of it to keep things simple. But you might want to watch the reference video again later. But keep things simple, put an ampersand in front of it because we are actually passing, we want to actually, we don't want to copy it. We want to actually pass in the values. When we first start learning functions, when we don't have the ampersand here, it's automatically going to be a copy. If we want to actually pass in this value, we're going to use the ampersand. So look, see this here? We're only changing the code up here. We just turned it to an ampersand. Now let's see what happens. Okay. Um, do we see that here? Smart HP has four because dumb attacks smart. So they both have an attack. They both have an attack of one here. Okay. So let's say I write another function. Void. Um, let's say call um. Let's say I want to call it power up. It takes no parameters. But what this function is going to do. It's going to power them up. So let's say uh, HP is equal to 9999. Let's say attack is equal to 9999. And I don't need this there. So we've got two functions here. Alright. So looking at this next here, let's say we copy this down here. All right, so now smart decides to power up. Okay. Well, there takes no parameters here because the uh, parameters in this function are empty. There's nothing there, so we don't need any. And then smart decides to attack dumb. I know this example is cheesy, but we're going to get through it. And then I want to output this. I don't want this thing anymore because the tutorial is about over. But, oh, actually, I did want it. Oops. Okay. But I really want it right here so I can keep everything in that. So the third round, Smart's going to power up and he's going to attack dumb. Now let's see what the values are here. Okay, so we they both start off with five. Dumb attacked Smart, so he has four. Smart powered up, and dumb has a negative HP. And now we can just, well, I didn't tell him, I didn't make anything to say if he's dead or alive. So we can make a Boolean value if we wanted to, to can tell if he's dead or alive. But that's the basics of using some of these classes here. And uh, we'll start to move up on this example here, but this is just, uh, I can't see. I'm going to make this 150. That's just the basics of how we can use these. So we have two functions here, HP and attack. 
and it's just a simple example of how we can use these here. And you might just to, yeah, to give you an allusion to the future, uh, or a, uh, just to allude to the future, that you can also make up different classes. You can have a class called something else, maybe a weapon, or, and you can actually have it passing a weapon to something. So, and we'll, that's called inheritance, class inheritance. But we'll get into that later. We'll kind of evolve to it. So that's the end of the video. And uh, we'll, f we'll find out what we're going to be doing next. <laughs>